pretty windy here. <laughs> but we were up at about 7,600 feet. We are now in New Mexico. And we're going to spend the night in New Mexico here. A little town coming up. I'll let you know what it is when we get there. What do you think, Sophers? You like this? Hey everyone, I'm back at it again. I'm in Pie Town, New Mexico. This place is on my bucket list. Some of the best pie around. I definitely recommend it. US Highway 60 between Springville, Springerville, and Albuquerque on US 60, you want to stop here and get some pie. Wonderful people at the Pie Town Cafe. Incredible. Miss Sarah is amazing. You need to uh, stop in and check them out. And this campground by the city is free. They have a pie festival every September. They also Pie Day is a big thing, 314. <laughs> so you want to check them out. It, it's definitely a good time. Where'd Miss Sophie go? Oh, there she is. She snuck behind me here. She's the real star. You know that. I got to have her in there. But uh, I'll... I'll uh, do some video of the restaurant and stuff, put it up here, and, and the menu, and, and the delicious pies they have. I'm going there in the morning. I ordered pies ahead of time. I would suggest if there's a certain kind of pie you like, look at their menu online. And go ahead and, if you're going to be driving through here, let them know, and they'll have it ready for you. They'll cook it fresh in the morning. I was there today. I got the last piece of blueberry pie. Oh, my God. And it was fresh blueberries in it it just doesn't get any better than that but uh thank you guys for coming along with me and uh help me do something on my bucket list this was on my bucket list i definitely wanted it so and and this is where the my rig's going to be parked for the night perfectly level there's some other spots with uh picnic tables it's right off Mud Pie Lane <laughs> in Pie Town, New Mexico. If you've never heard of Pie Town, check it out. It's an interesting place. Unfortunately, the Pioneer shut down. Uh, the lady had owned it, her husband passed away, and she retired into Arizona. So, so that one's not open right now. But uh, we'll get back with you tomorrow. Pie Town. And this is the gathering place. There used to be two places in town that sold pie. This is the only place that does right now. But they are simply amazing. And I bought two pies to come with me. They've got small pies and big pies, but the service and atmosphere in this place is incredible. And you really need to try it. But, uh, Not a bad view here either. All right. I'm going to show you the way to the campground. So if you leave the gathering place at Pie Town here, the cafe in town here, you're going to want to head east on US 60.
east on US 60 here. There's two ways to get in the campground. That road right there, right across the street, and then there's another road up here I went in on. It's Mud Pie Lane. To the left there, that was the other restaurant. It's no longer open, it was called the Pioneer. Guess up further. Next street. I guess I pass it here. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's not always perfect. Yep, there's their turn there. I missed it. There's no sign from the other direction, so... So as soon as you go past the Pioneer, I guess it isn't Mud Pie Lane. Festival Lane, I'm sorry. Turn down here. And there's your sign right there on the right. It says Campground. I mean, it's not the smoothest road, but it's not washboardy. I mean, it looks a little sandy. It may be a little problem if it gets uh, wet, but uh, let's see, it goes over here. Some places have picnic tables, others don't. There's the uh, gathering place over there. And as we pan around here, there's a little city park here, playground and everything. And if you look over here, here's the entrance to the campground here. This is one of the entrances. This is this the one off of Mud Pie Lane? And you can see here, we've got a vault toilet. It's got a solar panel up there for lighting. They've got the water here. Um, the water isn't hooked up right now. I think they've got it turned off for the winter months. It is still March, the end of March here. So I'm sure they'll be opening that up real soon. They got a ball field back in here, but there's all kinds of camping all the way around on here. It's an older park, so some of it hasn't been used for a while, but it's it's free. <laughs> Can't beat that. It is a sandy kind of soil, but it's good traction. You really don't sink in. I don't know how it would be when it gets really wet. I don't know if I'd want to try it. But it doesn't seem too bad. There's some rutted out areas like right here, but it's not that bad. If you take it slow, you're okay. And back to my camping area here. My little spot. Got the mix of shade and sun, so let's take a cruise back in here and check this out back here. I've had it all to myself for the last two days, so you can see there's all kinds of little places you can tuck into around here. And And I'm a short bicycle distance away from the uh, from the gathering place. Here's a nice little camp spot. Just a neat little area for free too. Right in town, and it's still quiet. And you're off US 60, but once you uh, 
it gets past six o'clock, it's pretty quiet. Plenty of places to ride your bike through here. And it's like some trash they tried to clean up and stuff. And yeah, it looks like you would sink in a little bit if it got wet, so you'd have to watch the uh, water. Here's the other entrance, Jackson Park and Campground. It's nice to have some trees. There is some trash in here, different places. There's some I'm picking up at my campsite when I leave. And back into my campsite here. I've got a little uh, fire, fire ring here too. But uh, not too bad for a free site. You can't beat it. And, uh, and being so close to the gathering place for pie and food. They're open from uh, 9 to 5, Wednesday through Monday. They're closed on Tuesdays. Uh, they serve... Regular food from uh, 9 to 4, and then pie up until 5 o'clock. Then I was actually in there till 5.30 last night, so they, they, they got people in there, they stay open. Great people, made you feel like family in there as soon as you walk through the door. So, hope you enjoy the, the tour of the campground here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I got some cool stuff coming up, so stay posted. Make sure you uh, set your alerts, ring that bell, and uh, I'll be with you on the next one. Have a great day.